The average Canadian business waits about 27 days for an invoice to be paid. That lapse in time and kind of accounting for that cash flow and, and without having certain you know, financial controls uh, in place, a 27 day period can, in some cases, sink a company. How do you see kind of that friction and that balance play itself out and manifest within organizations, especially when it comes to financial control issues? Can you share any real world examples that highlight you know, the detrimental effects on business operations and growth? I mean, AP automation is a lot more than just, you know, sending invoices and receiving payments. You need to have financial controls, you know, at, at multiple you know, stages uh, uh, with, within your business, really to avoid making financial errors, uh, you know, things like uh, you know, not being able to reconcile payments properly, or, you know, in many cases, even sending payments to the wrong suppliers or vendors, those types of controls are, are really what, you know, helps a business scale and what allows, you know, what, what could be a, a small or anemic finance team to, you know, operate like a large um, enterprise. The average Canadian business waits about 27 days for an invoice to be paid, which, you know, is, is obviously an issue in and of itself. As a business, you need to be able to manage that lapse in time uh, where, where an invoice isn't being paid and kind of accounting for that cash flow. And, and without having certain, you know, financial controls uh, in place, you know, a 27 day period can, in some cases, sink, a, you know, a, a, a company, you know, at a, at a, at a certain you know, scale and repetition. Are there specific fintech tools or technologies or even strategies across banking, payment operations, or treasury management that you recommend based on your view of the evolving Canadian landscape? We actually just put together a FinOps map, which lays out different uh, Canadian vendors uh, that uh, allow small businesses to uh, do things within AP and, and AR uh, automation that I put together uh, you know, in partnership with Pluto. You know, they're, they're, they're Tons of different ways to, to, to think about this. In my writing historically, I've sort of thought of like generalist solutions like Pluto that can kind of be applied to, you know, any size business in any stage because it connects to basically every major ERP or uh, accounting platform. And, uh, you know, there are tons of other tools. I do parts of, of, of this type of billing, First Pay, NetNow, and Peloton. Uh, there are also the, what I like to think of as like the specialist that will just provide solutions for a specific uh, industry niche. So like within the, uh, you know, the restaurant or like food and beverage, uh, uh services industry, you have companies like, uh, like tap commerce and notch doing, um, a lot of AP automation tools that are specific to things like modeling and planning and, and reporting, uh, really cool Canadian, uh, companies like Maxa, Quota, Atlas, uh, that are, you know, making it very easy for, uh, for businesses to pull reports out of their ERP systems. And then you know, in categories like you know, expense management, we have Canadian companies that are basically mirroring the innovation of you know, similar companies in the US like Brex and, uh, and Ramp, but locally in Canada. So these are companies like Procurify uh, on the West Coast, uh, Float does uh, some really, really cool stuff with expense management and putting billing on employee cards, you know, everything down to payroll providers, and FX providers like Corpay and Finofo, both really cool Canadian fintech companies. And then one area that, that I get most excited about, and, uh, and there's a ton of innovation happening in here specifically in the area of, of, of digital banking. So companies like Vault, Loop, Truly, Key Technologies, uh, these are all like digital first small business banks. The most important thing is really to just pick technology that's well suited to either the type of business that you run or the stage of business that you run. You know, they're like what I refer to as sort of like generalist platforms like Pluto that, you know, will, will, will allow you to integrate into pretty much every major, you know, ERP and, and accounting system, which means in most cases, it's a suitable tool for most businesses to use. You know, on, on the other hand, there are companies that I sort of think of as like specialists. So they'll only focus on a specific industry uh, vertical. You know, there, there are trade-offs to, uh, you know, to going in, in either direction, but like whatever system, again, you're selecting, it just needs to be relevant to the type of business that you're running and it needs to be able to scale.